Hello, this is Joe Angelo, service technician here at Lyman Products. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and use your auto primer feed in your T-Mag and Crusher presses. Your auto primer feed will include two brass tubes, one small and one large for corresponding small and large primers. One primer feed body and one accessory packet that includes one Allen wrench, two primer tube caps, and two cotter pins. I am going to start with installation of the primer feed body. Place the primer feed body between the lugs of the press body on the crusher press or the lugs of the turret on the T-Mag press and tighten the lock screws. The angle of the primer feed must be adjusted up or down until the primer tube is directly over the priming punch sleeve when the priming arm is in the back position. For correct function, position the primer feed body so that the primer tube is in a straight line with the primer sleeve. Also, the top of the primer sleeve should be level with the top edge of the primer cutoff pin. To obtain perfect tension between the primer cutoff pin and the primer sleeve, it is sometimes necessary to back off a turn or two on the set screw in the primer feed body that adjusts the tension of the primer cutoff pin. When adjustments are correct, the priming arm will select a single primer and carry it forward into the priming position. The remainder of the primers will be retained by the primer cutoff pin. Next I'm going to show you how to fill the primer tubes. Choose the correct size primer tube for the primers you are using. I am going to use the large tube for this demonstration. Lay your primer's anvil down in a small flat bottom tray or dish. Insert the cotter pin provided through the hole in the primer tube. This pin will prevent the primers from falling out of the bottom of the opened end of the tube. Pick up the primers by forcing the slotted end of the tube down over each primer. Continue until the tube is completely full of primers. Insert the bushing end of the tube into the primer feed body and remove the cotter pin. Place the red cap over the slotted end of the tube to reduce risk of injury to your face or arm should they strike the upper end of the tube. Your auto primer feed is now ready to use. Remember to use extreme care when working with primers. Keep your work area clean and always wear eye protection while reloading. Thank you for choosing Lyman Products. Please visit us online at lymanproducts.com and like us on Facebook. And remember, if you have a question about any of our Lyman products, just ask Joe.